Welcome to this online session of Building Materials and Construction 5. Today we will be seeing about Unit 4 named Advanced Construction Techniques and Materials. So in this session we will be seeing about RCC Barrel Vault, its components required in construction, concrete shells and the advantages and disadvantages of shells. So first we will start with the description of RCC Barrel Vault. So before seeing that we will first see about walls and then about barrel vault. So first is walls. So in architecture, a vault is a self-supporting arch form usually of stone or brick serving to cover a space with a ceiling or roof. So the simplest kind of vault is a barrel vault also called a wagon or a tunnel vault which is generally semicircular in shape. So the barrel vault is a continuous arch the length being greater than its diameter. So as in building an arch, a temporary support is needed while rings of bowzois are constructed and the rings placed in position. So until the topmost bowzoi, the keystone is positioned. The vault is not self-supporting. So when timber is easily obtained, this temporary support is provide by, provided by centering consisting of a frame truss with a semicircular or segmented head which supports the wowzois until the ring of the whole arch is completed. With a barrel vault, the centering can be shifted onto the support the next rings. So the part of a vault exerts lateral thrust which requires a counter resistance. When walls are built underground, the ground gives all the resistance required. However, when the vault is built above ground, various replacements are employed to supply the needed resistance. An example is the thicker walls used in the case of barrel or continuous walls. Buttresses are used to supply resistance when intersecting walls are employed. So now we will see about barrel walls. So a barrel vault also known as a tunnel vault or a wagon vault is an architectural element formed by the extrusion of a single curve or a pair of curves in the case of pointed bare walls along a given distance. The curves are typically circular in shape, lending a semicircular appearance to the total design. So the barrel vault is the simplest form of a vault, effectively a series of arches placed side by side that is one after the other. It is a form of a barrel roof. As with all the arch based constructions, there is an outward thrust generated against the walls underneath a barrel vault. There are several mechanisms for absorbing this thrust. One is to make the walls exceedingly thick and strong. So this is a primitive and sometimes unacceptable method. A more elegant method is to build two or more parallel walls to each other. So the forces of the outward thrust will thus negate with the other. So this method was most often used in construction of churches where several vaulted naves ran parallel down the length of a building. However, the outer walls of the outermost vault would still have to be quite strong or reinforced by buttressing. So the third and the most elegant mechanism is to resist the lateral thrust was to create an intersection of the two barrel walls at right angles thus forming a groin vault. So next we will see about its load transfer. So the barrel vault is a more straightforward single curvature shell construction. It is the part of a cylinder or barrel with same curvature along its length. Any number of continuous barrels or continuous pans are possible except that eventually provision is made for the expansion of joints in large structures. So the barrel walls are used in parking, marketplace, assembly hall. The types of barrel walls are short span barrel walls and long span barrel walls. So next we will see the types in detail. So first we will see about short span barrel vault. So short span barrel walls are those in which the span is shorter than its width. It is used for the width of the arch ribs between which the barrel vault span. So long span barrel walls. So long span barrel walls are those in which the span is larger than its width. So the strength of the structure lies at the right angles to the curvature to the span is longitudinal to the curvature. 
Usual span of the longitudinal barrel vault is from 12 to 30 meter with its width being half the span and the rise is one fifth of the width. So to cover large areas, multi-bay, multi-span roofs can be used where the roof is extended across the width of the vault as a multi-bay. So next we will see what is centering. So centering is a term used to describe the necessary temporary support on which the RCC shell structure is cast. So the centering of a barrel vault which is part of a cylinder with the same curvature along its length is less complex. The centering of conoid, dome and hyperboloid of revolution is more complex due to the additional labor and the wasteful cutting of materials to form support for shapes that are not of uniform linear curvature. So the attraction of shell structures lies in the elegant simplicity of curved shell forms that utilize the natural strength and stiffness of shell forms with great economy in the use of material. So the disadvantages of shell structure is their cost. The shell structure is more expensive due to considerable labor required to construct the centering on which the shell is cast. So next we will see what a tension tie is. So this image represents a doubly curved shell with no axis of symmetry shows a spherical dome supported on a wall. So whenever the shells are supported vertically at their edges, a tension tie is required around the perimeter at the intersection of the dome and the wall. However, it is important to note that the tension tie will be funicular for any shape of either the plan or elevation. So in the next image, so the shell has positive curvature and continuous vertical support. So the support may be a continuous wall or stiff beam between adequately spaced columns. It is interesting that the straight parts of the tie do not require ties around the building. The thrusts are taken by shear force through the width of the shell and only tension forces exist in the tie. So next we will see what are stiffening beams and arches. So stiffening beams are like under local loads, the thin shells of the barrel vault will tend to distort and lose shape and even collapse if the resultant stresses were more. To strengthen the shell against this possibility, stiffening beams or arches are cast integrally within the shell. So the common practice is to provide a stiffening member between the columns supporting the shell. Downstern stiffening RCC beam is most efficient because of its depth, but this interrupts the line of soffit of the walls. For this, upstand stiffening beam is used. The disadvantage of the upstand beam is that it breaks the line of roof and need protections against the weather. So next is the edge valley and beams. So due to self-weight and imposed load, the thin shell will tend to spread and its curvature flatten out. To resist this, RCC edge beams are cast between columns. Edge beams may be cast as dropped beams or upstand beams or partially as both. In hot climate, the dropped beam is used whereas in temperate climate, upstand beam is used to form drainage channel for rainwater. In multi-bay structures, spreading of the walls is largely transmitted to the adjacent shells, so stand and feather valley beam is used. So next we will see about expansion joints. The change in temperature causes the expansion and contraction in concrete structures, which causes the structure to deform or collapse. To limit this continuous expansion joints are formed at the intervals of about 30 meter along the span and across the width of the multi-bay and multi-span barrel vault roof. Longitudinal expansion joints are formed in an upstand valley. So next is the roof lights. Top light can be provided by deck light formed at the crown of vault or by dome light. The deck light can be continuous or formed as individual lights. Roof lights are fixed to an upstand curb cast integrally with the shell. So the advantage of the shell is that its concave soffit reflects and helps the dispersion of light over the area below. And the disadvantage is that top light may cause overheating and glare. So next is roof covering. 
So shells may be covered with non-ferrous sheet metal, asphalt, bitumen, felt, a plastic membrane or a liquid base coating. And finally roof insulation. So the thin shell offers poor resistance to transfer of heat. The need to add some form of insulation lining adds considerably to the cost of the shell. So the most satisfactory method of insulation is to spread a lightweight screed over the shell. Difficulties of providing insulation and maintaining the elegance of curved shape makes the surface largely unsuited to heated buildings in temperate climate. So that's all about RCC barrel walls. So next we will see why concrete is the most suitable material. So the material most suited for construction of shell structures is concrete because it is a highly plastic material when first mixed with water that can tape any shape on centering or inside form work. So small sections of reinforcing bars can readily be bent to follow the curvature of the shells. Once the cement has set and the concrete has hardened, the RCC membrane or slab acts as a strong rigid shell which serves as both structure and covering to the building. So finally, we will see the advantages and disadvantages. So first we will start with the advantages. It is a very light form of construction. To span 30 meters, shell thickness required is 60 mm. So dead load can be reduced, economizing foundation and support system. They further take advantage of the fact that arch shapes can span longer. Flat shapes by choosing certain arch shapes. Aesthetically, it looks good over other forms of construction. So the disadvantage is a shuttering problem, greater accuracy in form work is required, good labor and supervision is necessary, the rise of roof may be a disadvantage. So that's all about the advantages and disadvantages of shells. So in this session, we saw about RCC barrel walls, its components, its advantages and disadvantages. Thank you.